Hi, welcome to another episode of Unified Team Diving TV. Coming to you from wonderful Dima in New Orleans. We've had a blast so far outside the Dima show. Now let us take you with us on a little tour through the most obscure scuba items of 2023 version of Dima. Let's go. We already found something. This looks like a chest mounted rebreather, but it has a snorkel mouthpiece and the guy is wearing some boots that can clip onto something and this whole thing here on the front is it's like hollow so we have to find someone that can explain what this is all so we found someone this is sander he's from free breathe yes and he'll explain us what this contraption is all about yeah i hope yeah yeah we're launching a new product um we're trying to fill the gap between uh, snorkeling and scuba diving the product we are launching offers that um, we have two versions. We have got a 10 feet deep model and a 15 feet deep model. There's a hose connected to this, which goes to a floating device that stays on top of the water. It provides you with air, and it's also a safety device. In case Richard, you can always hold onto it and go back up to the surface. How does it work? The product um, offers a tank. It's fully powered by the motion of your body, which means you have an unlimited air supply. You can stay on the water for hours if you want to. There's a, a patented technique in it, which allows you to end the But there's this, nothing in here. No, it's just, just for demonstration ah, purposes. Okay. So how does it work? There's a bladder inside. The bladder goes up and down while you are swimming. It's connected to your feet. I saw those little booties. Yes, yeah. yeah, so there goes a little strap goes down to your feet. It's up here. And as soon as you start swimming, it's just this much distance you need to cover. It's just, just a small kick or small swimming motion. And the bladder goes <coughs> down pulls the air from the fresh air from the surface it straps the air here mm -hmm. because of the negative pressure of the water even the, uh, the <coughs> air inside gets a little bit of pressure which is good it's, it's only 0.5 bar at the maximum but it helps you breathe free it's now you don't have to suck it in it's effortlessly breathing you put the mouthpiece in your mouth you inhale the air from the tank when you exhale it goes out no, through this valve so the dead air leaves the system. So there's a one-way yeah. valve system in there? Yeah, yeah. So the dead air leaves the system and you just fill up with new air. And you can go even down 10 feet, 50 feet, 2 feet, 8 whatever you want. You can play with it and stay on the water as long as you want. But if you stop swimming, yeah. you stop breathing. Yeah. But if you stop swimming, yeah. you stop breathing. Yeah. Well, you're water anyway, so you need to swim anyway. So just... Okay. Well... Thanks for explaining, Sander. You're and, welcome. Uh, good luck with your product and good luck with the pool so there can actually be a demonstration. We, we filled it up with water. It was perfectly clear. And we came in the next morning and it was it was green. It matches at least the logo color. It does. <laughs> so, yeah. well, thanks for your Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Okay, well, uh, that was interesting, I guess. But I think we kind of made a mistake because we said most obscure scuba things. That's not officially scuba, but hey, I hope you got a kick out of it. I don't, I'll, I'll stick to just a normal snorkel, but um, hey, who else? You know, you do you. Next next thing, what, what can we spot next thing? Well, here we are at the uh, Halcyon and Santee booth together this year. Let's see if they've got something new and exciting for us to uh, take a look at. Found something. So already spoken to someone about this it's a it's a new fin a new rubber fin so at first glance it doesn't look anything special but actually they went some thought in there because there's a little weight in there can you see it right there there's a little weight you can take in and out and you can even adjust the fin strap to be shorter or longer to um, to adapt to bigger or smaller boots depending if you're diving with a wetsuit or a dry suit I guess look very spacey this almost looks like a, a helmet of a gladiator, I think. Or a Mandalorian, if you're that way inclined. This is the way. Wow, this is... be fun to get my hands on these and test them out. Off to the next one. Right, something caught my eye. Very, very tiny scuba tank. Let's see what this is about. It's something cosmetics, I don't know. Let's talk about this guy. 
What are you on about? Do you really think that's going to get me through a dive? Nah, well, you know, no, you, you wouldn't want to be sucking the air out of it. No. But um, this is our this is our reef this safe sunscreen. This is our reef safe sunscreen. Uh, we're launching it here at Dima. Wow. Um, so a lot of the traditional reef safe sunscreens you've used are a little bit thick. It's stuck in your beard, in your eyebrows. Yeah. Walk around looking like a mine. Yeah. So we've taken seven years uh, to develop this formula. It goes on like a milk and rubs in completely clear. Oh my God. So that's yeah. it. All zinc and titanium. Yeah, so that's available as of March it will ship. The other products that we make are hair care products. So this is our first stage shampoo, second stage conditioner. I need that, for sure. <laughs> and a uh, really great product here is our leave-in conditioner. So this is a leave-in product and it detangles, rec repair. All of them come in aluminum bottles. These are all eco inks. And this is an actual O-ring that can save a dive. <laughs> yeah, I see that. That's very smart. It smells like a mojito. You want to try it? Ooh, have, a, have a smell. How that nice does smell nice. He doesn't have any hair. But, <laughs> More why? You're saying I can't smell here. nice because I don't have any hair? It works great for guys with beards, long chest hair, yeah, you know, that's that's hair on the back. The only you know? place on my body I'm liking hair is right where I need it. Exactly. That's Sunscreen. Right. Yeah, yeah. Wow, nice. Well, congratulations and uh, good luck with the product. That's hey, brilliant. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thanks for stopping by. Guys. See ya. Enjoy the show. Well, that was actually very nice. Oh, found something new. I've seen these before. But I've never actually stopped with them, so let's let's see if we can get someone to explain what this ski binding system should look like. I don't know. I don't know. Let's ask someone. All right. So we figured this out. They're, they're very busy on this booth, so they don't have much time. But we figured it out. It's not that hard. It's it's basically that what it is. It's you you stomp on this with your heel, and this flips up and kicks you in the Achilles and keeps your fin, fin strap in place. And then when you want to go pull it off, you, you kind of just pull this back. So, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess it makes your fin taking on and off 0.3% easier, I guess. Well, now you know. Next one. Then. And this next hour is going to take some self-control from me, I'm not going to lie. But let's get someone to explain what this is all about. It looks like some kind of a rebreather bailout valve connected to a snorkel, connected to a tank. You're going to have to explain Hello. this to me. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ben. I'm Christine. Nice, nice to meet you. you. This is the What's Extreme 6. It's a quick dive system. So it's six cubic feet of air. It's mounted on the back of the diver. So the weight is down off your mouth, away from your hand from your hands, and now you're totally hands-free. Okay. So once you strap it on, it's six cubic feet of air. It's attached with a, a long hose here to a regulator, and we have invented this. It's a diverter. We call it the snorkelator. Snorkelator? Come with me if you want later. So it's <laughs> integrated. So the idea is you don't want to waste the precious air in your tank as you're deciding where you're going to go under. So you start off in snorkel mode. Whatever the diverter is pointing to is what you're breathing off of. So right now it's breathing off the snorkel. You kick out to where you're going to go underwater. Now you're going to go under to clean your boat or to lobsters. And now you turn it to the regulator. Now you're breathing off the regulator. But with one mouthpiece, so that you're not having to swap out mouthpieces, clear, and swallow water, which is really uncomfortable to a lot of people and just not fun. So now you just have a mask, you have this whole system, it comes assembled. For well, how long? So this, because we're talking shallow, for this particular use, probably boat cleaning under 30 feet, 15, 20 feet, you're going to get about 15 to 20 minutes on it. Oh, wow. Because it's shallow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're not like doing a lot of swimming, like if you're sitting there cleaning your boat or doing something very light. Light work. So, okay. I think last, like I said, 15, 20 minutes, depending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they have to have some kind of scuba education for it? We do it or? recommend it, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, wow. <laughs> Another thing. Thank you for checking it out. I appreciate it. Well, thank it. you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, here you have it. A, sn a snor. What did you say? A snorkelator. That's what it's called. Oh, well. Six feet or six cubic feet last 15 to 20 minutes at what did you say 30 20 feet 30 feet i don't know how that math works but um well, there you see well, i'm still recovering from my previous uh, encounter but um what's this it looks like uh 
Okay. Heating packs. Let's have a look. Someone oh. explain us these nice warm pouches. What's this all about? Yeah, so it's going to use a heating pack. So basically all you do is press the button. Yeah. There's going to be instantly chemical reaction that initiates the heat. The little ones last for an hour right here for the heat. They are reusable. We have other ones that last for two hours. Do they stay soft? They stay soft until they start cooling down. They start going back into a solid like this. And then you drop it in boiling water five to ten minutes. It's going to be a liquid. Press the button and reuse it all over. Oh, again. so the, the big ones, if you put them on your back and it cools down during the dive, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, yeah. Oh, you know, heating for scuba diving? Yeah. It's a smart idea to be cold in the beginning and then warm at the end. Yeah. From a decompression standpoint. Yeah. Can you activate these? Underwater? Yeah. yeah, you can, but I recommend you go before. Because then you're warm in the beginning and then you're cold at the end because yes. they're wore out. Yes, right. but they're so reusable. And after, um, anything for the lionfish, it helps right away for the heat, the jellyfish oh, yeah. things as well. I guess it's nice when you come up from a cold dive. And, you have mm -hmm. and I mean, it doesn't have to be hunts. also for the diving. Yeah. All right, so that's a heating system I do not personally would advise using because of the fact that it starts you off warm and then cools down and then when you have this big block of solid thing in your dry suit it cannot be comfortable so nah, better stick to a uh, incorporated heating system or externally internally heated system whichever but uh, this is nice after the dive to rewarm your fine fingers or something but uh, no I guess it's, it's not not a good thing all right we found uh, an interesting thing, something called a buoyancy bar. Well, if you're if you're old like me, we used to call it a monkey bar. If you do a long decompression dive, it'll be a bar supported from the surface, and then you could have tanks on that, rest on that, whatever. But you're not neutrally buoyant when you're having to support yourself on either the bottom or a bar hanging in the middle of the ocean. So it's kind of not true this is not a buoyancy bar it's a negative buoyant device anyway and they're getting apparently they're new in teaching people the dive neutrally buoyant yeah well this is what we told you obscure scuba items this is kind of obscure because someone is clearly not neutrally buoyant on the video is sitting on the bottom what can I say let's move on before I yell at people well here we are at the fourth element booth they, they usually have some nice stuff let's see if there's something new under the fourth element flag i knew they were talking about a new glove let's see there it is like they came out with this new glove and it apparently looks like a normal glove but i had a talk with one of the sales reps and in, inside is a is a compound that doesn't squeeze as much, I should say, under pressure. So it keeps the loft and keeps it nice and warm. And they actually feel really, really comfortable when you wear them. So um, if you're not into heated gloves, I think this is a nice option to uh, to give it give a try. And the fingers don't excessively like stick out; they're not too long. But this would be nice, I think. Wonder when they come out. I think we just found something that is truly obscure, a bit macabre, a bit dark, but uh, let's see how you can get buried when you die, out of tide of diving, but get buried underwater. What's that doing? Memorial Reef? Like it's a dive site, of course, uh, but it's also a business. It's an underwater resting place. It's an underwater cemetery. Okay. Uh, you can live on forever. Uh, it's inspired by Atlantis. It's uh, in Miami. Yeah. And you can choose your placement and decide to be a part of the grief system. Wow. So when you die, you can get what cremated and put in the yes. jar and put yeah. it underwater. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we mix cremated remains, water, and cement. And depending on the placement style you choose, that's where you'll be placed. Okay. Yep. The coral reef system grows on you. We we wrote an entire article about it um, in the app in Buddy. Buddy yeah. Yep. So you can uh, learn more about it. Wow. Live on as a turtle. Live on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much would it be? Is it well, expensive. Um, so our scatter starts at three thousand four hundred and ninety-five, and then our placement options start at nine thousand. 
$9,000. And is that for ever? Or is it like you can be placed there for like 20 years or 10 years? No, it's forever. Okay. So your cremated remains will not be on the cover. So you're placed there for life. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess I've figured out some graves. You have to pay for gravestones. Mm -hmm. What? Truly obscure, I guess. Interesting. <laughs> well, on to the next one. Well, on a more serious note, I guess, we found something here on the Suex stand and it looks like gold. Gold is bold. So let's be bold and ask what this gold is all about. Well, I'm just about finished with editing this video. I, uh, by now you've seen it and I hope you liked it. If we offended some people, please accept our apology. But no, it's all tongue in cheek. We're just, you know, making a little bit of fun. So don't take it too serious and see you all out there.